Here we're going to continue to look at hyperbolas, and this time we're going to be looking at given the center, the vertices, and the foci, and we want to actually come up with the standard form of the equation uh, from the given information. So let's start with the first example where we're given that the center is going to be at the origin, so that's at zero, zero, and we're given that the vertices are at plus or minus four, zero, and the foci is located at plus or minus six and zero. So what I would start off with first, if you're given this information and we want to find the standard equation, I would start first by actually plotting what is given so we can actually tell what type of the graph we're going to have. So we know the center is located here at the origin. And then we have the vertices, so that means we're going to go out four. So the vertices would go out to a positive four. And then we would count out to a negative four. And then the foci is going to go out six, zero, and negative six, zero. And we know then that the graph is going to look something like this. We don't know the exact shape, but we know it's going to curve out to the left and out to the right. And from here, we can then conclude that we know this is going to have a horizontal axis. And now if we think about the equation uh, for horizontal, we know that we're looking at uh, x minus h squared over a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. So if we're looking for this standard form of the equation, we really only need to know uh, four things. Uh, we need to know h. We need to know k, which is simply the center, and we need to know a squared, and we need to know b squared. So there's the four pieces that we need to find. Well, we already know h and k, the center is at the origin. So we need to find the a value. Well, we know the distance from the center to a vertex is a. So if we count here, a has to be equal to four. Now we don't know the b value, but we can find C because C is the distance from the center out to the focus. So in this case, C is equal to six. Now, knowing what A and C is, we can solve for B because we know that we would have C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So that means we have six squared is equal to four squared and then we're going to solve for B. So we'd end up with 36 is equal to 16 plus B squared. So B squared would be equal to 36 minus 16, which would be equal to 20. And actually we can stop here because we don't really care what B is equal to. If we went a step further, we know B would be equal to the square root of 20. But if we're looking over here at the formula, we're simply looking for B squared. So at this point now we have b squared, we know what a is, so we know a squared, and we already have the center. So all we do is plug in that information. So we would have x minus our h value, which is zero. So that's x minus zero squared, divided by a squared. Well, a is equal to four, so four squared is 16, minus y minus k, well, our k value is zero and that's squared, over b squared, and we just solved b squared was equal to 20, and we simply set this equal to 1. And at this point, we can simplify. We're subtracting 0, so that simply becomes x squared over 16 minus y squared over 20 equals 1. And here we have the standard form of our equation. All right, next, if we look at another example, let's say that we're given the vertices 
which would be 2, 3, and 2, negative 3, and we're given the foci, coordinates 2, 5, 5. So from this we want to come up with the standard form of the equation and once again I would start by plotting those points and we're given the vertices uh, 2, 3 so that means we're going to go over 2 and then up 3 and 2, negative 3 so we'll go over 2 and then down 3 And then if we plot the foci, we're going over 2 and up 5, over 2 and down to a negative 5. And once again, we know that for the graph, it's going to look something like this here. And from this, we can actually determine the center. We know the center is going to be uh, the midpoint between the two vertices. And that tells us the center is going to be right here on the axis at x equals 2. Now once again from this we can determine that our axis is going to be vertical and if we have a vertical axis then we know this is going to be y minus k squared over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. So once again, we need to find our a, b, k, and h. Well, because we just found the center, we know that the center is h and k, so that means our center is going to be x is 2 and y is 0. And then the a value is the distance from the center to the vertex. So here we're going to have a is simply equal to 3. And then the uh, value for c is the distance from the center to the focus. So that tells us c is equal to 5. And if we're going to solve for b, once again we know that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So we would have c squared, which is 5 squared, is 25, equals 3 squared, which is 9. And we can solve for b squared. So we have 25 minus 9, which is equal to 16. And if we take the square root, b is equal to 4. And once again, really, we can stop at b squared because that's what we need up here in the formula. So at this point we have all the information so we would plug in and have y minus k so that's y minus, now be careful, realize this is the k value so it's y minus k so here we have h and k so that's minus 0 squared over a squared so a is equal to 3 so 3 squared would be equal to 9 minus x minus our h value which is 2 and that quantity is squared over our b squared and we just solved that here which was equal to 16 and we can set that equal to 1. And once again we can simplify this by simply writing this as y squared over 9 minus x minus 2 squared divided by 16 equals 1. And this would be our standard form. Now, once we have this in standard form, if we wanted to go a step further, uh, we know the center here is 2, 0. We know the A value is 3. We know what the B value is. Uh, so we could verify here that we have the graph based on uh, the value for your vertices and the foci in the center. So realize if you're trying to find the standard form here of the equation, uh, the key parts you need to find would be H and K, which is the center. We need to know the A value and the B value, as well as the C value, because that will help you find uh, the value of B.